Uh, a lot of people don't believe this when I tell them, but literally the first thing I remember thinking in these 42 years is, uh, wow, boys' butts are amazing. <laughs>at about three and a half and pretty much every other thought since then has been the same thing. Uh, I was three and a half and my mother had gotten this little, not, not a Hummel statue, but that kind of thing, like a ceramic thing. And it was of a little toddler in a, like a onesie, right? And the back door of his PJs had fallen open so you could see his hiney. And I saw this up on like a chest of drawers and I grabbed a stool and I got it and I was like, Ooh. I was like, this is the most wonderful thing in the world. And I decided everyone had to know about it. So I started running around the house going, hey everyone, you can see his hiney. <laughs> and my brothers and sisters thought it was hilarious. And then I thought, well, clearly the neighborhood should know as well. <laughs> so I run down the stairs and I'm heading out out the door and I'm ready to tell the Sullivans next door, look, you can see his hiney, when I feel this hand grab my collar from behind and it's my mother. And she looks very unhappy. She looks kind of cold. And I said, look, mom, don't you, it's, it's, it's amazing. You can see us hiney. And she said, uh-huh. And I'll just keep it where it'll be safe and I never saw it again. <laughs> so for the next several years, I kept having to deal with this fact that, you know, I loved boys' heinies, but I became more and more aware of what that meant, you know, what boys called boys who thought that. So I was, you know, really having a hard time with how to deal with it. But by the time I was 12, E.T. ruined everything. <laughs> I went to see this movie, probably the week it came out, summer of 1982, and this little boy comes out at the very beginning of the movie, this kid Elliot, and I just thought he was so sweet. I loved this boy. And then this movie is all about this sort of like soulmate relationship that develops between this little boy and this kind of brown thing from outer space. And I knew it wasn't supposed to be a romantic love story, but I really identified with that little brown thing from outer space. So at the end of the movie, everyone's, you know, sobbing, but I'm sobbing for a different reason because, you know, I, I feel this love. And I got the book, the novelization of E.T. that week. And I came to this certain point where I was so overwhelmed with my, my crush on Elliot that I closed the book and I said out loud to myself, that's it, I am gay. And it felt like I was finally doing something. Whereas, you know, 12 is pretty young in 1982 for this. Um, so I thought, well, I have to start letting people know, and I guess I should start with my family. But around that same time, the song Sexual Healing came out by Marvin Gaye. And my mom set myself and my sisters down and she said, if this song ever comes on the radio, the radio goes off. And I said, I am not telling her about this anytime soon. So come 18 years of age, it's time for me to move to New York City. And I had seen in the magazines how there were gay men in New York City. I was so used to Republican conservative Cincinnati where it was like sex didn't even exist. So by the time I came to NYU, I was very horny. <laughs> It was the first couple weeks of school and I'm wandering around the hallways of the Tisch School of the Arts and I hear a couple of guys talking about a gay bar somewhere. See, I didn't know how to meet gay people then. I didn't know, you know, who knew who or where to go. So these guys are saying, hey, you know what? There's this great bar up on West 82nd Street where all the Columbia gay guys gather. 
And it's just terrific because everyone's so preppy and white. It sounded a little, you know, Third Reichy to me. <laughs> But I was coming from Cincinnati, so I thought maybe I'll feel at home. <laughs> this shows you what a great detective I was. I was right in the middle of Greenwich Village, tracking rumors that gay people congregate about 82 blocks north. <laughs> 